morning. It is a Wednesday. I think it is um, July the 25th, 2018. Today I want to talk about one of the biggest reasons for gang stalking, covert harassment, organized psychotrophic warfare, electronic torture, and they're taking out targets, sympathizers. And that is part of going to war, ladies and gentlemen. Right before they go to war, they want to take out the targets. And this is why they placed Donald Trump in his position. Donald Trump is just like um, Alex Jones, Jesse Ventura, Oliver Stone, and you know um, all the people who change history. What they do is they take the real prophets, the real seers, and they pretend to be them, ravenous wolves in sheep's clothing. And they mimic what we do. But the deep state has control of Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura and Donald Trump and all these people. Now, if you go and you watch the movie 13 Days with uh, about the war with Russia, the Cuban Missile Crisis... Ladies and gentlemen, they tried to go to war with Russia before, and the military failed. Now, why is the military involved in organized gang stalking, getting rid of sympathizers? Well, because the Pentagon, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, and the military wanted war. And JFK did an incredible job of getting people that are in our military to be influenced by his orders instead of the military. Because the military will take away the power of the president if they're fired upon or anything like that. And the military will send us to war. And we know that all these wars have been fake, ladies and gentlemen. Every one of them, Pearl Harbor, they knew the planes were coming in. 9-11, that was about the fakest war I've ever heard of in my life. Babies on incubators. Uh, you know, Vietnam, Tonkin incident, you, you, you name it. And now they're using Star Wars technology to take out sympathizers, microwave weaponry. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a sympathizer. You know, my daughter was a sympathizer. We're just not warlike people. You know... A lot of these military people, they're sitting in their big old Navy ships. Let me tell you what the Navy means, ladies and gentlemen. That's maritime admiralty law. One of the biggest fights that, that um, JFK had was with the Navy in the Pentagon. N-A is a symbol of the letter O. O is a symbol of the sun. Okay? That's the number 15. Right? That's why Rome in Gematria is 51, because it's the opposite. It's the sun upside down. It's the opposite sun, Satan. That's what it means. That's why Rome, R-O is 33, me. And you'll see these people that are hunting down sympathizers. They will have, I love us. They'll have all fish and all kind of things, symbols on their websites, and they have certain names. They got names like White, which is the physical. They'll have names of the people who killed JFK. Uh, they'll have all kind of names. Look at all the people who killed Bobby Kennedy and JFK and all the all these assassinations that were going on. Uh, you know, you can go to the, to the assassinations. Now, here's another thing that they do. They bribe the DA. They bribe all the lawyers. They want war. And ladies and gentlemen, once you take the sympathizers out, boom, you're in war. Nobody's going to reject it. They're going to say on TV, they're going to say, oh, here's a reason to go bomb Russia. I mean, look at all this. Russia this, Russia that, Russia this. Uh, you know, Donald Trump colluding with Russia, John Kerry. That's all skull and bones, warlike people that serve the Queen of England and, and the Jesuit high priest, and they want war. Yes, the Roman Catholic Church wants war. That's absolutely, they, that's how they thrive. It's a central banking system. They thrive off of war, and they fund this stuff. They want war. They want nuclear bombs. Number one, they don't need nuclear bombs anymore. They found a way to attack the United States through microwave weaponry, frequency technology, the cell towers, the 5G. They found a way to kill you and replace you. 
and to siege this country. They don't need to mess up the infrastructure either. They don't even need to mess up your house. They just do a, a few little damages with storms and weather modification. And that's what all this geoengineering... See, see the size of that cloud right there? I've never seen clouds that big, guys. These are, these are from water vapor towers. They've hired NASA, Lockheed, the power companies. They've taken over every corporation in America. Because when you go to war, you can't have the corporations rejecting that. They've taken over the dealerships. They plan on turning the dealerships into... Uh, you know, ways to network with their war criminals. Auto dealer, that's why they call them ships. Ships of state, ship, maritime admiralty law. They're going to be Navy ships on land, just like the courtrooms, maritime admiralty law. You got to ask yourself, if you get rid of the sympathizers, which I'll be honest with you, it's probably about 70% of the population of the United States, 80%. Once you get rid of the sympathizers, then what are you going to do? There's going to be nobody left to fight for your country. You hand you can you can just hand it over to a foreign dictator, a fascist dictator, Rome. Everything's going to change. Your freedoms are all taken away. Total fascism. The cell towers can not only do electromagnetic pulse weapons and kill everybody in your neighborhood. But they can also create mind control, robotic humans, artificial intelligence. They watch you in your house. They will turn this country into one giant military industrial complex. They already got China. Now, they, now if once they get China in the U.S. and then they conquer Russia... And, of course, they'll move their drilling machines and all that stuff in there to go steal all the Russia's resources. And that's why they're spending so much money on little old me. I kept wondering, why are they spending so much money on gang stalking, covert harassment, the 15 million private sector jobs that Obama created? All so they can get rid of what they call sympathizers, ladies and gentlemen. And so that they can go... Yeah, they can go to war. They want a war. Mimi, come on. Come on. Jeez. My dog's eating. I threw some old oatmeal out for the chickens. And uh, she's eating the oatmeal. I'm changing environments here because I'm being stalked. Um, so let's talk about this. Do you really want to go to war? All of this, what they've done is identified people's personalities that sympathize with other countries. They don't like murder. My daughter was one. There's many other people. We don't believe in killing. It's all to go to war with Russia and siege Russia. But ladies and gentlemen, okay, they're going to let Russia win. Do you understand this? They're either going to let them win or they're going to siege Russia and take over their, all their resources, which is probably what they're going to do. First, they'll let Russia win. I'm just telling you. They'll surrender to Russia and they'll use Russia as just an attack. They'll, say, they'll claim that we lost, blah, 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 whatever, because China's probably going to merge with Russia. And then... And it's going to be a switch. China's going to merge with us. And then we're going to wipe out Russia and steal their resources. Because the main goal is just to wipe out the indigenous people of the United States. Now, Prince Harry has already married into an indigenous bloodline. And you can tell he doesn't really love his wife. He, he, he's a racist. You know, she's American Indian. She's native. You know, they like their British British women. You know, their bad genetics. 
Uh, Princess Diana had good genetics, and now Meghan Markle has good genetics. So they need to refurbish their bloodline because they've been inbreeding for so many years. But that bloodline is indigenous to the United States. So this means that the queen will rule the United States by blood. And that gives the authority to the Roman Caesar, Julius Caesar, Jesus Christ, the, the, the Jesuit Jesus. The ones who claim to be Jesus. All you got to do is read what these Jesuits write about themselves. They're vicars of Christ. They are Christ. They rep, you know, they are, you know, they're your papa. I mean, come on, guys. If that's not Satanism, I don't know what is to where you worship a false god. There is no god in the flesh. If you worship anything in the flesh, you might as well just worship a pile of dog shit. Because I'm telling you, there is no worshiping anything in the flesh on this earth. The God, the creator, is not of this earth. He is alien. And listen to this. They even got you a backup plan. If, if they can't kill us, they'll just claim that we're aliens. That's another backup plan. Because they've been kidnapping, sympathizing type people for years. Now, guys, this plan was in place when I was born. Because JFK was not it was the best president that we ever had in a long time. He was a non-war-like president. He did not want war. He was intelligent. But the banksters want war. This is how they thrive. War is the only way they stay in power. That's it. If you, if you go for 50 years without war, and by the way, we're in perpetual state of war. We're always in war. But they want a big war, Russia. They're tired of conquering these third world countries. That's no competition. They want a real war, Russia. I'm telling you. And they're not going to lose. They're going to rig the 2020 elections. They're going to get rid of all the sympathizers, which is alternative media. And that's what Alex Jones, that's what Jesse Ventura was for. That's what uh, Roy Potter is for and, and Dane Wigington, so that we can go to war. That's what the geoengineering programs are about. Dumb down the citizens to where they're so stupid that they just don't give a shit. They have no passion. They have no courage. They have nothing. Just dumb them down to the, where they're brain dead zombies and if you kill them off, it's no big deal. They're too stupid to know they're being, they're like frogs in boiling water with these microwave cell towers. They just tur continuously turn up the radiation and just process you through the hospitals. And they'll give false diagnosis. That's their job. Roth R Rockefeller taught his corporate uh, betrayers called Hippocratic Oath, the secret societies, very well. It's a secret society and secret oath and a secret proceeding, just like JFK talked about. And when you go to the hospital, they're not going to tell you, yeah, you know, you might want to watch out for somebody coming on your property in the middle of the night, shooting you with directed energy weapons. You might want to call the cell tower companies and stop them from pointing microwaves at your house because you don't have lupus. You don't have fibromyalgia. You don't have kidney disease. You don't have blood disorders. Uh, you don't have autoimmune disease. You don't have all that stuff. You, you, you've, got, you've got microwaves being pointed at you, sir. Doctor's never going to say that. Ever, ever, ever. He probably wouldn't make it to his car if he said that. They'd shoot him in the head. Okay, they're killing doctors like crazy. Real doctors, the healers. The, uh, the real healers. And they're keeping only the robotic doctors. They're keeping the robotic police. Getting rid of the good police, keeping the robotic police. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want me to kill people in, in, in a certain neighborhood? Okay, well, I'll just go open fire. You know, we'll start the problem. We'll create the problem. Pretend like we're the solution. And all of you are going to regret it. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're, if you're robotic or not. There's going to be a limit to what you will stand. And when... And when all of a sudden we're at war with Russia and you have nothing left, what are you going to do then? When you finally realize that you just handed your country over 
to a dictator, fascist, Satanistic society. They already control the churches. They control the schools. They control your politicians, the elections. They control your presidency. They control all the corporations. Now they just got to wipe out the people, the sympathizers. That's all. That's it. They've got everything. They own your power companies. They own your gas companies. They own your oil companies. They own everything that with all the with all the driver's license, mandatory insurance and all that stuff, that's how they that's how they create their war. That's how they fund it. The war, your own war, the war against the United States. And you're funding it. They bribe your DA's office, they bribe your sheriff. George Soros is behind this. Hell, he did it to the he did it to the Germans. You might want to look at Jesse Ventura's real name. Ladies and gentlemen, look at his real name. Look at do do look at Hollywood. Look close at Hollywood. They're either clones or like Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're they're military people from Germany. They killed all the sympathizers over there. The Windsor family, the Queen of England, same thing. That's not the, her real name. That's a fake name. Jesse Ventura's got a fake name. They all have fake names. Every one of them. You join Hollywood, you get a fake name. Oh, and, and then you get on TV and you play a fake person. Just a fake world. Got fake news, fake media, fake movies. The, 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 the fictional movies are showing you what they're doing. They're getting your permission. And then you walk out and you go, oh, that was a really funny fictional movie. No, it's real. The allegorical meaning of the movie they're getting your permission because if you, as long as your mind thinks it's fiction, then they, it gives them permission. It's just like eating the body of Christ and drinking his blood. Well, that gives them permission to be vampires and cannibals. Because if you're okay with it in the church on Sunday, the day of the sun, then, then, they're, they're, then they can actually do it. And I don't care if you're drinking wine or grape juice. It doesn't matter. It's a ritual. And in your mind, you think it's okay to drink blood and to eat a body. Cannibalistic vampirism. You, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Fred, it doesn't mean that. It, it means something else. Why? Well, shut up. You're a cannibalistic vampire, and they even put ashes on your forehead like you're dead. And then they tell you, sit, stand, sit, stand, kneel. Sit, stand, kneel. Sit, stand, kneel. I know. I, I was in the Roman Catholic Church. And there's no difference between Roman and Mormon. As long as the church files a 5013C, well, there you go, 51, 501 is 51 in Rome. As long as you file permission with Rome, then they won't let you, then you don't have to pay taxes because Rome controls the IRS. That's how they fund Israel. Remember, Bobby Kennedy wanted to bomb Israel. Did you know that? Did you know that? Because they knew that the military commanders in our army were serving the Israel, the Israel, Isis Ra and El, Israel, they were so serving the royal families who own Israel. That's why your taxes go to building APAC, which is building the Israeli army. And that's why Hollywood, we got to support Israel. Did you hear Donald Trump the other day? Yes, we have to support Israel. Really? Well, wait a minute. Bobby Kennedy and John F. Kennedy wanted to wipe out Israel. They wanted to wipe out the royal families. But they're dead. But your president, Donald Trump, that you think is a hero, wants to support the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the Stanleys, the Medici family, the Cologne family that, that killed all the American Indians, Columbus. Oh, yes, we definitely going to support Israel. Really? <laughs> really? So you're going to support Donald Trump, a foreign military, with all of our employee taxes, that they're becoming stronger than the U.S. military. And guess what? Israel's not in debt. They get the money from you. But the U.S. has to go in debt to support their military. Oh, isn't that amazing how it works? Israel gets free money 
Gotta go, I got something attacking my chickens again.